Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to tie up the game against Cincinnati, please. And what you expect to see as you get back on the road uh, Saturday to face Coastal. Yeah, good morning, Chuck. Um, you know, really excited to be, you know, 3-0. and uh, Another tough win. Uh, you know, Cincinnati battled hard. Uh, proud of the way we played on offense. Uh, I thought we did a lot of good things running football. Uh, you know, we're still continuing to work on our ball security, something that we pride ourselves in, in taking care of the ball. And especially the way we play, uh, we like to run the football. We like to possess the clock. Uh, you know, turnovers can be a killer. So we got to definitely get better at that. Um, but I, I thought, you know, Zach, uh, AB, our quarterback, played a really good football game. Uh, you know, really sound in running our offense, made a lot of great decisions, uh, took care of the ball. So I was really pleased with Zach. Um, defensively and, and uh, on offense, we had a lot of uh, guys play well. We had a lot of our slot backs play well. Um, you know, they probably I think we had over 300 yards uh, uh, on the slot back position. I don't know if we've ever had that before. So proud of the way they played. Up front, we played well. You know, we continue to play well at wide receiver in our blocking and catching Tyler Comona's having a really good season. Uh, defensively, you know, we came in trying to stop the run against Cincinnati. I thought we did a good job with that. Obviously, we struggled against some of their passing stuff. Um, you know, but we made just enough plays. We got some good stops there at the end of the game, you know, to you know stop them. And like I said, it was a tough game. And they got things going offensively a little bit there. And, you know, we had a hard time stopping them. But, Fortunately, we made enough stops at the end. Um, so, you know, even though we're 3-0, and we feel like we can improve a ton and we have a lot to work on, coaches and players. So that's the exciting part. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to playing Tulsa. You know, they're a really good football team, great program. You know, Coach Montgomery's done a really good job there, really good coach, you know, great person. I've gotten to know him over, the, you know, our time here in the conference and, you know, I really like him as a person, but he's also a phenomenal football coach. And, you know, we're going to have our hands full. They've had some uh, tough losses, but, you know, close losses. And, you know, you know they played Oklahoma State um, in the first game, which is a tough opener, one of the best teams in the country. So, you know, we know exactly who they are. They're a really, really good football team, and by, coached by really good coaches. And, you know, we got to get ready for another tough game on the road. We'll take questions for Coach Niamatololo, please. Star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue. Then the operator will introduce you. First, go to Bill Wagner with the Baltimore Sun Media Group. Hey, Kenny, you talked after the game and then just now about there we have lots of room for improvement. Anything in particular that you would pinpoint that you feel needs to get better as you look ahead? That you know, like you said, getting better. Well, we always want to be clean in the ball security department. It's like I said, it's the number one thing in our program that we talk about and emphasize is ball security. And so, you know, it's it's hard enough to win games, uh, but we don't want to lose games ourselves. So we got to take care of the ball. You know, we want if we're going to lose, we want people to beat us. We don't want to beat ourselves. Um, still got too many missed assignments. You know, we can clean up on that. You know, we felt like we had some missed assignments that. We can clean up on both sides of the ball, uh, continue to improve on our tackling, on defense. But a big part is uh, assignments more than anything, Wags. Uh, just feel like, you know, a lot of stuff we can do, clean up a little bit. Just, you know, we're never going to be perfect, but we're always going to strive to play assignments sound because it's who we are. we got to be the least penalized team. we got to, you know, we got to be in the top ten in, ball, in turnover margin, taking care of the ball. And from our standpoint, we got to make sure from an assignment standpoint, we're doing our job. You know what I mean? And and that's a big thing because even when you do your job, it's going to be hard to win. But if you're not doing your job, you got no chance to win. Can you talk about going on the road? Obviously, you had two tough uh, games at home, but you were able to pull out in the conference. Now you're going on the road, and you know, winning these road conference games is huge. They they're almost worth a little more. Uh, this is going to be a huge game for both teams, you know, for us in Tulsa, uh, you know, for conference play. And like I said, we know them very well. They know us very well. Um, 
like I said, you know, what Coach Montgomery does. I mean, they, they do a lot of good things, good football coaches. And, you know, last year, you know, we expect the game similar to last year. You know, I mean, it came down to the last possession. You know, so this is going to be another, another tough game. You know, going down the road is going to make it even tougher. But, you know, we'll prepare for the best we can. Thank you, Coach. Hi, Wags. And do we have other questions for Coach Diamantabolo, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Well, Coach, we'll let you off easy this week. That's the only one for this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. All right, Chuck. See you.